So we're back out here on Hirschfelden for some more missions, and last time you may remember we were trying to do this one where we just have to create hunting pressure in Jonsdorf, and I could not figure out what was going on, but a lot of you guys in the comments said that I just had to stack hunting pressure, and I don't know why that didn't occur to me. I specifically said in the video, the last one, we shot like four or five fallow deer in the same place, so we're heading back down to the lake where there were a bunch of red deer hinds, and there's actually a fair bit of pressure there, so if we can get two or three, we should be able to get this mission done, and I think if I read the wiki correctly, there might actually only be one more story mission, and then we can kind of go on to some of the side missions. Now the thing is, they actually did move just a little bit, and we must have deleted the previous zone here because we had enough hunting pressure, so we must have been really close to actually completing the mission just by accident last time, but we'll try to call them just a little bit closer, kind of to make sure they're close enough into the hunting pressure for it to count. And I brought the M1, so I'm hoping we can drop two of them. I hope they're not going to be too close to where they spook immediately. But we'll get the closest one first. Might have even clipped a far lung on that third one. I don't think we did. Let's just uh, try to make sure she goes down. And surely, with everything that was here and what we just got, that would be enough. I mean, that's going to be... Three more on top of what was here. It's very bright, uh, but there is no mission being completed. So unless we do have to claim these animals. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally. That mission's done. So like I said, I think there's one more um, story mission. And we do have some animals to quickly find here. So that could have been done much more quickly. Like I said, I believe this is the final uh, story mission, so we'll head down to Tishinau Lake. I imagine because this one is going to be like a specific spawn, the time's not actually going to matter. And we will actually switch to a proper weapon, but that is going to be this tiny little area happens to be right by my tent, so that's actually useful. Now the question is, is he going to be just like specifically spawned? There was actually a random warning call like right down... Uh, there actually. Is that the one we need? There he is. That'll be it. So, I don't know that he's gonna try to run away. He might just kind of stand in one place. And he's gonna go aggressive, so had we not gotten a decent shot in there, that would have been easy enough, but he'll go down. And like I said, I believe that's gonna be the completion of the story mission, so we'll have to decide which side missions we're gonna do. But, ooh, he's very close to Diamond, actually. 13 below. And that should be completing, like I said, what I think is the last one. We'll, well see if we get anything new. So I think that's it. It looks like there's no more for the story missions, so we'll take a look here at the side missions, because there are a lot of them to do. Um, I'm not sure, maybe that's just not gone yet. I think I already did those side missions actually preparing for the wild boar ones, so now that these are the only ones left, we'll have to see. I mean, we're almost through this, guys, and I know from looking at the wiki, like, all of the rest of Connie's are like fox missions, and we just did the coyote ones, we're not going to do that uh, today. So we'll look for a road here, because I think there's usually like 10 of each other than uh, the warden missions. So that definitely could help us with this first mission, which I don't think I actually did read it out, but just to harvest two road deer weighing over 25 kilos with, for some reason, a 270, which is not a rifle that actually would get the integrity on road deer at any point uh, in the game's existence. But, it definitely does drop them nice and quickly, so hopefully at 24 to 29 he's going to be at least over 25. 
And I think that's kind of the point of the 25 kilo requirement. It's going to be mostly like decent sized bucks you have to get for that. I don't know what happened there. He is over 25 kilos though, so that's going to be number one for this mission. And hopefully with it still being their feed time, we can run into another one out in these fields somewhere. See, now that could be the other side of it though. There is a buck warning calling. So maybe we want to at least go check the tracks, but there is always the chance that roe deer females can weigh over that 25 kilos. They can actually be up to the max weight estimate, and I've seen them like above 30 kilos. So that's that one. Um, I think we'll just, I mean that marker is pretty much where the buck called from, so we'll just kind of leave that there and we might not even need to go for him. She actually kind of landed all strange too, I don't know what the deal is with that, but she is 25.5, so that should get us to the next one. And I think these are mostly dealing with roe deer. And we're going into an area that I don't often hunt actually, but yeah, just harvest three roe deer. But I don't actually hunt a lot of Spreeberg, so I'm hoping we can maybe find some interesting things in that. I'm not really sure where they feed in here, but we'll probably just start here and kind of wander around. It's definitely kind of cool just to like explore around these areas that I don't ever hunt. And actually, there are two different roe deer down there, which we're going to use the proper weapon even though we don't need to. And I think with the 243 being as quick as it is, we should be able to get both of them. So. I'm a little worried about the shot placement. Oh, there's a buck there too. Maybe we can get all three then, depending on what he wants to do. I'm still worried about that first one. And I don't think we're getting a follow-up in there on him. So we could have gotten down through a lung. I tried to get like top of the neck, maybe chance of getting through a lung. And I know she ran off, so that one I'm not too sure about. But it looks like, actually, we got lungs on both of them, no problem. And really, I guess we should just go follow that other buck and hopefully get him and have this mission done. The thing that I really like about doing missions, like, on any map is, like, these kind of ones where we're not hunting their drink time like we easily could. We're actually going and exploring other areas that I don't go to, and I was kind of hoping to do more of that, but if there's three road here, here, we might as well go for it. Okay, there he is. Took a little while to catch up to him. And we almost spooked him, so we might have been trying to come back. But, that might even be a gold. Actually, he looked kind of decent. Although, rodeo scoring seems a little bit weird lately, so I don't know if he'll make it. But, that should be that one done. And, honestly, for what it was, it didn't even take that long. Just kind of like tracking this guy down was the biggest thing. But yeah. He is actually a little gold. By exactly one. And we got a hard shot out of that. But the next one, we are using a bow. Once again, two weighing over 25 kilos. I don't see that it requires a specific area. So for this one, I think we're going to try their drink time. I do want to do the thing that I was talking about, like exploring other areas and doing all that. But I think just because it's going to require like the size again, their drink time is going to just kind of congregate them near water. But super quickly, this is kind of the thing that I wanted to do. Uh, finding, you know, stuff in these areas I don't go to. I think I'd like to know what this fallow deer is. Okay, he looks kind of big. I was not planning on meeting him here, but I think he's coming back. How big are you? Just a nice four. So we'll just take that really quick. That kind of scared me. I thought he might have been a little bit bigger. He's just about 30 below diamond. Really not a bad looking fallow deer, but now we'll switch to road deer drink time and grab a bow. So she's kind of alert, but... If she stays there, that is actually one that we could go for. And that'll definitely work. So again, we're relying on hopefully decent weight on a female for the first one. But hopefully she's going to be that 25 kilos and we can go to one of the other drink zones and get another one. And she actually is, I think, the heaviest one we've shot so far at 27.5. So that'll work. And I think we'll probably try maybe even this little spot. I didn't really intend on, like, not even using a call, but just kind of the way the terrain was, we were best off just kind of scooting in close again. And this time we're way closer. And we'll just get her taken out, so 24 to 29 again. And hopefully that is going to do it. And yeah, she's up almost to uh, the max weight estimate, so that'll be that one. And I think there should be two more for this mission set. I can't believe you're still here just in case we can actually use that 
for another mission. She was another 24 to 29, actually. Uh, but it looks like we need a ground blind, actually. Let's see what that actually says. Uh, three road here down from a ground blind at night. And the good thing is we did learn that we can use, like, the deployable ground blind. So we'll find a spot that's going to be good for that, hopefully. So this one actually happens to be quite near a ground blind that's already set up. My marker there is actually on that. So I think if we just call now and kind of scoot over there, we should be able to bring her in. I'm just kind of seeing, though, it's kind of not facing the right direction. So... I don't think we want to call from the blind. I think we need to get her to come more, like, over here. I mean, as long as we can shoot out the side, we should be good. Okay, that actually worked really well. She chose a good direction. So I brought the Mosin for this, just because if we could actually manage to bring in two at once, I figured that was probably our best weapon to bring them both down. But that should be one. And I still don't really know, like, where we're going to set up the uh, deployable blinds, because I've seen really nothing but fallow deer out here. That one uh, roe deer doe just happened to be wandering through the field, so maybe I just got here too early. There is one down there, and I mean, really, we're right on 300 anyway. I think if we just kind of set up the blind here, hopefully it doesn't spook. I mean, it shouldn't. Make sure the door's in the right direction. And we'll just make sure... Yeah, she's still there. So, this should be an easy one. And then, I mean, I'm just going to leave this blind set up, because I have some other ones. And we'll kind of just carry them around and see what's going on, but I figured we're best off having one here, just in case we end up needing it. And there's no real reason to take it down since we have extras. And we'll need one more, and at this point the question just becomes, do we continue running around these couple of fields and looking? Or do we reset the time in case we spooked any others that we couldn't see? I mean... I think we'll run around a little bit longer, but there's really only like four fields to check, so there's not a ton we could have missed. So there is another one. I really don't know how like we didn't see it because I went through there. We're kind of close to where the other blind is. I think really we're just going to go and use that rather than risk some kind of weird thing where she spooks from it. And we can just run like she's far enough away. So as long as the hill's not going to be blocking her. We'll get in there and take that shot, and then I think that would get us on to the last of the kind of roadier missions, so let's hope this can work out and there's not going to be any issues with that. I mean, I don't see any problems. It looks like it's going to be a pretty easy shot up through there. So we'll get in here, if it'll let us. And I think she should have been right there. And that'll work. If this video is late today. It's because of this mission. I've spent so much time running around these fields just to get three roe deer does, but at least that should do it. They're all landing in weird ways too, but yeah, 240 meters double lung. And I believe this is going to be the last mission of the video. We need to travel to the Petershine Turbines and spot three different roe deer and harvest one. That should actually be way easier than what we just did, so I believe... Uh, I mean, three in that area is kind of small. It's basically what we just did. But I believe if we do, like, in the morning while they're feeding, that should be fine. I actually used to kind of frequent this area when I was really looking for a diamond fallow deer. And I know a lot of roe deer hang out here. And that actually would be definitely the best one we've seen in a while. I didn't know wild boar spent any time up here, so that's kind of interesting. But I think... I'm not sure if these objectives have to be done in order. We're going to drop that guy, since he's actually a good one. And then we'll come back for him at the end. So that'll be good for him. Honestly, the board didn't hear, but I don't want to potentially be spooking other things that we haven't seen yet, so... We'll leave a marker where our road here is, and hopefully go spot two more. Got one there that's fleeing. I got her track a minute ago. I hate to end the video without completing the mission, but I just cannot find any more road here, and... I want to actually get the video out on time, so, I mean, at least we got a decent little gold here. But, yeah, I don't know if I gotta come back, like, during the rest time. At least harvesting that one did complete that achievement. But, I don't know where else to look, and I just, unfortunately, do not have time to get this video edited if we, uh, go and try to try other things. So, yeah, I mean, I've seen three foxes in this area. Oh, wait. Is that the one? That's the one we already spotted. Yeah, that would have been too good. But anyway, we'll have to find one more uh, at some point and hopefully uh, complete this mission 
But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Um, we got through all the Hirschfeld and Story missions and pretty much through a line of side missions, if not for some really difficult to find road here, so definitely happy to be progressing through these. But anyway, that's going to do it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.